full bleed kind of image looking thing in your newsletter, which is kind of nice, as opposed to an image that is contained within the borders or padding of the default 600 pixel um, template, we use a code block. So your own custom HTML. But if I just drag that in here and drop it, it gives us this open div tag that we can then enter our own HTML. The problem is, how do you know what the image is and you have to know the links to it. So rather than do that, here's how we quickly can um, utilize a standard text block to accomplish what we want. So the first thing I would do, so here's the image we want, is I would drop a standard text block in there and then we delete the text. I'm going to go insert an image Here's the image I want. I've created it at exactly 600 pixels. I've actually named it that, TTBTR-600. So I'm going to select that and insert it. I'm not going to make any changes yet. I don't care about the link or anything. Oh, we could put the link. So we'll just say, in this case, Google. I'm not going to put the regular link just because I want to make this quick. So I enter the link and I insert that. Now, automatically, MailChimp's going to drop it in with the margins and padding that is default to their template. So I'm going to go to the image here. I'm going to then view the source code. And we can see here the source code. And as I mentioned in the blog entry, we're going to just remove anything that relates to actual pixels and change it to percentages. So I'm just going to take the width only and remove all the height elements. So under the style, I'm going to do 100%. I'm going to remove height. I'm going to go to the end and remove the width tag that sits outside of that. We're just going to stick with the style. There goes my cell phone. I'm going to remove this height. Now I'm left with an image that's going to be 100% of the working area but I don't really need to do a whole lot more with it or even save this. I'm just going to copy that HTML. So I'm going to do control C, save this. And now what I'm going to do is add that code element. And in that code in between the div tags, insert the HTML, which by default, if it's a hundred, percent width goes edge to edge. So I save that. I take this element and delete it. And of course now we have it duplicated because I started with one so we'll just delete one of those. And so that's how I quickly create an edge to edge image. So now when we do a preview, we see that it works in mobile this way. If we rotate it around, it works in mobile this way. So that makes things a lot simpler and we get that edge to edge effect. Hopefully you find this helpful. Thanks.